Hi everyone, so let's see this article Farm as Factory. Agriculture's unexplored potential for employment generation needs to be tapped, not on but near and outside the farms. The number of workers employed in unincorporated sector enterprises across India has fallen from 11.13 crore in 2015 and 16 to 10.96 crore in 2022-23 according to a comparative analysis of the National Sample Survey Officers data by this newspaper. The drop has been entirely in manufacturing from 3.60 crore to 3.06 crore while the workforce engaged in trade 3.87 crore to 3.90 crore and other services 3.65 crore to 4 crore has marginally gone up that on face of it it is disturbing the informal sector has traditionally acted as a shock absorber and employment sink for the large masses of unskilled semi-skilled labor that cannot be productively engaged uh, engaged either in formal firms or agriculture more so in years of crop failure in this case these enterprises whether own account establishments or run with some hired hands were themselves seemingly victims of the triple shocks of demonetization goods and service tax rollout and the pandemic induced economic lockdowns between 2016-17 and 2021-22 the reduction in the number of workers in unincorporated non-agricultural establishments may have been to some extent offset by an expansion in formal sector employment if such formalization has happened there's no reliable data on that it's probably not a bad thing informal firms are after all characterized by small scale of operations and low productivity and also translates into workers being paid little the amount emoluments per hired employee in unincorporated sector enterprise average just rupees 1 lakh 24482 during 2022-23 India, it's well known, has too many people in agriculture. If the jobs being generated outside agriculture are mostly in the informal sector and construction having the same characteristics, low output per worker and paying just about subsistence wages, it does not amount to genuine structural transformation. The transfer of surplus labor should ideally be from informal, including agriculture and construction, to formal manufacturing and high productivity services. Therein lies the challenge. The manufacturing sector is becoming increasingly capital, capital intensive with the deployment of both labor saving and labor displacing automation, artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. IT, accountancy or financial services on the other hand demand skills that a majority of India's working population lacks. That leaves agriculture and tapping its unexplored potential for gainful employment generation. Such jobs can be not on but near and outside the farms in the aggregation, grading, processing, packaging, transporting, transporting uh, warehousing and retailing of uh, produce or the supply of inputs and service to the farmers. It requires reimagining uh, re agriculture and vision of the farm as a factory, producing crops that are raw material for further value addition. Converting onion and tomato to paste and puree can do what sugar mills and dairies have done, not just adding values to produce but also creating jobs in the countryside itself. So the basic theme of this article is employment. Basic, very basic theme of this article is employment. We get to employment, unemployment, these issues. Uh, this issue is being kind of addressed here, not directly, but to some extent, yes. Then uh, there are certain uh, data which is given here. You, uh, you don't need to remember all these data. It's just that if you read one time, then it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Tha. Other than that, it's pretty normal. Uh, you have read this uh, article once to so much I gaoga and nothing uh, more, more important in this. And yes, but a topic jo hai bahut important hai jo humne kal ke newspaper mein bhi dekha wo hai agriculture. So you need to have knowledge, in depth knowledge of agriculture for pre and mains as well. Thank you. Keep working hard.